In this video, we are discussing different data modeling types. So what are the different data modeling types? So there are different data modeling types are available and some of them are flat, star schema, hierarchical, relational and object relational. Object relational means the object oriented data model and relational data model will get punched here. So that is known as the object relational model. So let us discuss each one of them one by one and their comparative study. At first we are starting with the flat model. In the flat database model all the data are stored as a single row of data as a text file. So in case of flat, flat database model the all the data will be stored as a single row. The fields are separated by delimiters like our spaces might be the commas, tab etc. And the main disadvantage of this model is it is not easily accessible by different softwares to make the complex relationships between them. So that is the main disadvantage that means all softwares cannot access them to make the relationships between them. So this is known as the flat model you are getting here. So here you can find that we are having the key value pairs here in the form of a text file. So that is a conversion utility. So this text file will be converted through this conversion utility to the corresponding relational database. And that is the data modeling type that is a flat model. Next we are going for the next model that is the star model. In the star model all the data tables dimensions are attached with one centralized table and that table is known as fact table. Just look at this diagram. Here we are having this fact table that is a sales order fact. So in the star model all tables the dimensions are attached with one centralized table that is a fact table. And the fact tables are in the 3NF in this schema and where the dimensional tables are denormalized. So this fact table will be in 3NF that is in the third normal form. So in our database we have learned our normalization. So this fact table will be in 3NF form but this dimension tables will be in unnormalized way. So the fact tables are in 3NF in the schema and whereas dimensional tables are denormalized. And star schema is the simplest architecture and it is most commonly used nowadays. So this is our fact table and here we are having the store dimension, product dimension, sales order dimension, date period dimension and customer dimensions. So all these tables will remain in some denormalized form and this fact table will be in 3NF. Now the next one is our hierarchical model. In the hierarchical model the tables are stored in a tree like structure. You can find that the table has been stored in a tree like structure. So there is the root node and each and every node can have only one root. So there is a single root and other tables are liked with the root in different levels. You can find that we are having different levels are there. And in this model one child node must have only one parent node. So this is having only one parent here. So if you consider this one as a subtree, so there is a root and this is the final root of this hierarchical model. And hierarchical means always it will be in the tree like format. Next one we are going for the relational model. In the relational model the information is stored in two dimensional tables that means the table will have certain columns and certain rows so that will be in the form of two dimensional tables. And the relations are formed by storing the common attributes and between the two tables using the common attributes we shall form the relations. The tables are also known as the relations in this model. So you can find that we are having this relation there is a table name is there these are the headings this is the body the value is there at the intersection of row and column this is the relation table and there is a tuple or row in unordered way. So this is known as the relational model. Next one is the object relational model. Now what is the object relational model? In the object relational model, the relational model and the object oriented data model have got merged to together. And it supports the different object oriented database concepts like our objects, classes, inheritance and etc. Just consider this respective diagram given. So here we are having this user, user is having the name, email, address. So this is the respective user is there 
and this user has made multiple comments so it is having one to many relationship so comment is having the comment and the comment date and this is a block entry against this block entry there will be multiple comments are there so one to many relationship so this particular user has multiple block entries so one to many relationship is there against one block we are having the block name and the respective url and then we are having this tag value so one block entry may, may be having multiple tag values so here you can find that this is known as object relational model so in this way in this particular video we have discussed differing data modeling techniques available thanks for watching this video